Okay, moving along in the Memches Dvarim, the 48 ways to acquire the Torah, the next one is called Ahuv, a person should be beloved. Says the Pharisee Yisrael, what does it mean to be Ahuv, to be beloved? And he writes, Shemiyashe min Hagav, you should straighten out your ways. Bechein u bechesed u berachamim, you should be someone who is bechein, they find favor. Bechesed, they do things bechesed u berachamim with mercy. If you, if you act in such ways of chen, chesed, and rachamim, so then you will find favor in the eyes of everyone, you will be loved by, by all. Say the Mepharshim over here the following idea, that shekavana satana, the understanding or the intention of the Mishnah is, sha'adam sa'ich lachshay beliboy. A person should think to himself the following idea, He's beloved by Hashem. And whose mercy is upon him. And he's also beloved by everybody else. This is a beautiful idea. If I would think to myself how beloved I am by Hashem and HaKadosh Baruch Hu is watching over me and He has mercy on me and He's helping me along. And I would believe that everybody loves me as well. I walk into a place, people, they love me, they care about me, they believe in me. So that itself, those two ideas of just how much a person is beloved in the entire world, to everyone that he comes in contact with, and the Rebun Shalom, importantly, uh, more than anything, so you'll be matzliach, you'll succeed in all of your ways and in your learning. When you feel loved, when you feel validated, when you feel wanted, when you feel respected, when you feel other people appreciate you, so who's not going to be matzeh? Who's not going to succeed in this world? It's only if we think, ah, Kodesh Baruch, I made so many mistakes, Hashem doesn't really love me so much. Or I go places, now they don't really love me so much, they don't like me, they look down on me, they make fun of me. So then it's very hard to be matzlich, it's very hard to be successful in the things that you're going to do. So therefore when you keep in mind that you are ahov, that HaKadosh Baruch Hu loves you, He desires you and he, he wants to have mercy on you, and others love you as well, those two ideas fill a person with such a self-confidence that they will be matzlich, they will succeed. So he writes over the following, The person, I'm sorry, that's the next thing. Right, okay, the next, the next one is, after you are beloved in the eyes of others, you have to also have the trait of being you have to love, you have to love HaKadosh Baruch as well. And he writes, when a person loves HaKadosh Baruch then you'll learn the Torah out of love. And then the secrets of the Torah will be revealed to you. If you love the Rebbe Yenashaylam, so usually the people that we love, we want to do what makes them happy. People that we care about, like every husband knows, if you really love your wife, you're not going to forget her birthday, you're not going to forget her anniversary, you're going to make sure that you buy her a gift that you know that she's going to like, you'll take her to the restaurant that she enjoys, not that what you want, you want to make her happy. If you love the Rebbe Yenashaylam, so then you want to make HaKadosh Baruch happy. And the greatest way to bring HaKadosh Baruch Hu nachas and joy is when we're sitting and we're learning His Torah. And then he says, when you learn on that level of the real Ava that you have for Hashem, so he opens up your mind, you'll be able to learn things even better. And the last of these three things that go together here is that Oyeves HaBrios, you also have to love the Brios, you have to love the rest of Klal Yisrael. And two beautiful ideas over here. One is shal yideshi me'ava im when you love others. B'shalayim u b'shalim kulan, you are peaceful, you're at ease with everybody. V'yoyel the Torah, that's going to help you for Torah. Ki yilame b'yishev adas u'blidayge v'tircha, the same idea. If I'm good with everybody else around me, and we are, I love everybody else around me, I don't have tightness on other people, I don't have jealousy of other people, I'm not worried about other people, so then I'm, I have yishev adat. I'm relaxed. I'm calm. When a person is relaxed and a person is calm, it's much easier to learn. And the last thing he brings here is like this. <speaking in Hebrew> a 
Torah brings a person to loving their fellow Jew. Mishum Shah Torah, Mishu Tefes to call Yisrael, because everybody's a partner in the Torah. Vikulam Nasim Achim Al Yoda. How does a Jew become a, a brother with another Jew? Through Torah. Not just because we have long noses, that's why we're brothers with the other Jews. We became part, we became brethren with the rest of Klal Yisrael through the Torah itself. And therefore it says, love, Kodesh, love your fellow Jew the way you love yourself. Then it says, oddly, Ani Hashem, because I'm Hashem. Shakavana b'mashem Ani Hashem. Why does it say Ani Hashem? Shebabra Hashem yizbarach v'tayrasai t'yeava b'klal Yisrael. Because of, because of HaKadosh Baruch Hu and His Torah, that is why you're going to come to love the other, your other Jews. We are all connected through the Torah that HaKadosh Baruch has given us. And as a result of that, once you have that connection, then you can have all of you can be beloved by others. You can be beloved. You can love HaKadosh Baruch Hu, And you can have Avas Habiyos. You'll love the rest of Klal Yisrael. The Yisrael. And in those three schusim that a person has, he'll be zeichet to learn HaKadosh Baruch Hu's Torah.